Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Miasma Chronicles. Last time we finished off the main objective inside Happy Hills, but there is still a side objective with some slightly stronger enemies I don't think we're going to be able to take on today because they're like level 8, so I'm probably going to have to come and retread old ground when we get to level 8. But there is a group in front of us who we can definitely still try and take out. So there is a blaster. You guys wait. Exploring. You guys wait there. There's a blaster, who I think I could probably take on between the three of us. There is a guy over there, which I'm a little bit concerned about setting off. I might wait for the blasters to go too far away. I, mean, I think there's another blaster in that house, and then there's a long shot who has the elevation. So if I just now say... Over here. Right, come on, everyone. Going solo. And then I get stacked up with everyone here. You take a bit of cover further away because you have a big uh, gun. And then we're going to pop off and destroy this guy, I guess. You have no idea how much of a trap card you have just walked into, buddy boy. Now, so we've got Corrosive Shot, which will deal 30 acid damage over three turns, removing one armor point per turn. So it won't destroy his armor point straight away. But it will basically corrode him from the get-go. So I think that's a good start. So let's do this to begin with. Now, I don't know who else got alerted on their side. But it seems okay for the time being. What's that, 86? Ooh. I mean, just kill him. of being a wallflower. Now, has that activated anyone else? I imagine it probably has. Okay, well, he's going to use his entire movement to come over here, so that's not the end of the world. Can you shoot from where you are? Oh, you got to come down. Playing right into my trap, then. Reload. I assume you can't shoot anything just yet, so don't worry about it. Elvis, if you could come... Can you shoot first? Is that going to blow that up? Nah. What's in my backpack? Nothing. I could knock him back. It's not going to make much of a difference, really. Sniper, 37%. The assault, 47%. But also, not really much point. I think I might just try and fall back a little bit and then maybe overwatch. Let's get that rocking and rolling. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's do it this side. You've now got your tackle. Unfortunately, he's too far away. So if I now just get behind full cover with digs, and where's our Ripper Blade tactical disc? Can I do something crazy here? Hey, 80%. I'll take it. And a crit. Very good. Very nice. All right. Uh, Jade, just stay in full cover for the time being. I wouldn't worry about it. Just skip your turn. I'm a patient girl. What are you doing, Blaster Boy? Oh, you walked into the Overwatch. That's not what I expected at all. And then you Overwatched our Overwatch. I see what you did there. This could be a bit of a problem then because. He is just right there, and I can't really move too far. I suppose I could tackle him, but that is going to proc the Overwatch. But it would take him out. Can you get around? Not really. Not really. Hmm. Bit of a conundrum. I, I would say can knockers actually take people out of Overwatch. I assume they probably can. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try this. I'll see if this works. So... Watch this. The game's going to crap out a little bit, but that's okay. We're back into it. So he's now out of that range, so I should now be able to tackle him. Oh, he still walked through it slightly. <coughs> the walking path was a bit wanky. Okay, fine. In that case, I might have to heal, then. 
Although you do just get back up anyway, so maybe it's not worth healing. My tank's empty. Just, fi just finish him off. Doesn't get easier. And oh, then reload. Already? Diggs might get shot a little bit, but yeah, so the other is away. They might be. He's, he's okay. There might be a way where you can actually, like, similar to, like, XCOM 2, where you can, like, dot the path of which way they walk through their actual, like, range. Because it was a bit crap that we had to, even though he was out of the range, Diggs ended up going around the car and then walked into the Overwatch to do the knockback. You know, it's yeah. Anyway, guess we'll see. I assume that also might spook the guy to come out of cover. Although it doesn't look like he's going anywhere anytime soon, and I can't really get him. No, not at all. He's in a he's in a pretty good position, to be honest. Let's uh, flush him out. You come to me. I'm always surprised if they just shoot digs, honestly. Did you just alert the level eights? No way. Oh great. Well that's that's that then, isn't it? I guess we might be I guess we're doing this. Whether we like it or not. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. Armory is not really going to matter. Process shot would help, because then that will basically kill them. 37% though. Oh, yeah. It's going to do it. It is going to do it. 59. 70. But there is an explosive there. That really does irk me a little bit. 42 is not great. All right, screw it. I'm risking it. If we've got to fight level eight enemies anyway, let's just let's just go for it. Shit. Off. Get behind full cover, please, Jade. You're almost dead. My gun's bigger than yours. Okay. We're done dead. Here. She knows her stuff. That long shot shot to die from acid. Elvis is enraged. Okay. So what else is coming? We've got a long, sh another long shot, and there's a mugger. Wow, you are going up some distance. To be fair, if it's only alerted those two, we might be able to handle it. Not exactly where I was going with today, though. Let's say that. Elvis, how far can I get up and still shoot? There, you don't have any ammo for that, but you do have a sniper rifle. So that could work, actually. Hang on. 65 is pretty good. It's not bad. Oh, wait, well, I would say pretty good. It's not as bad as it could be. Guess I'm not your type, huh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, very close. Mate, very, very close. I don't think I'm going to be able to shoot that other person there. But Diggs should be able to. Hmm. Sure. My flesh. Rock so Jade, really, me. you can't move because you've only got one anyway. 65 is not ideal. What about shotgun? Out of range? Out of range. Risking it. Risk and reward, baby. Risk and reward. So he's one more level 8 guy up there, or whatever level he technically is. He is going to take out Diggs, but I expected that from just the, yeah, the pathing earlier. It is what it is. Need to reload. Reload. You're behind full cover, so you should be fine. Should be, but we are also playing in that crazy mode where it might just get around it anyway. But I guess we'll see. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Well, that was a that was a surprise. I don't even know if I'd call that a welcome one, but we did it. And to be fair, they weren't actually 
that bad to fight. I was expecting them to be much harder, just because they are in a dangerous area, but they were manageable. Didn't get a lot of XP for it, but they were manageable. Might be able to do this then, even at this level. Let me go, uh, let me go scout this out and see how many enemies there actually are. Okay, so there's a lot of long shots and a lot of the big boys as well. There's only, there's a single mugger here, which, to be fair... Where's Jade? I could probably Stay just, here. I could probably take this mugger out just with Jade. Not without a problem. I don't think it's going to alert anyone. Not that I can see anyway. You just want to snipe that guy? Out of range, out of range, yeah. Fish in a barrel. So that's one guy down. I don't think it's going to be so easy for the rest of this group, though. I, can, I think I've seen about six people. There is a there is a fair whack of them. As to where this treasure is, I might be able to... Oh, God, there's so many blasters. Maybe there's only two blasters. Maybe Maybe three. I might be able to sneak in, grab that thing, and leave, though. Maybe. That's what I need. But I think it's constantly being seen by that long shot, so it's not going to matter how close I get to it. I'm not going to be able to touch it without going into combat. Three long shots, two blasters. Ah, that's quite a bit. That's five enemies. I could probably kill one of them pretty quickly. Maybe two of them. But I'm going to head back to the city and then come back to this once we've leveled up. At least level seven. We'll probably take it after that, maybe. And we've got quite a bit of plastic to spend. So let's let's head back. Let's get on the map. Back on the blower. And it's back to sedentary we go. Okay, I can't tell if the miasma's getting worse in town or not. But I'm pretty sure this miasma storm wasn't here when we were here last time. Frogs? Are you sure? Pretty sure. I'm sure. Visual confirmation coming from Gator Zone, Sky Whale. Dick Charlson. Wanted dead or alive for attempted assassination of Mayor J. Mason. Oh. Last seen in Happy Hills. Reward. Oh, we just came from there. Old debts. Okay. So if I was to go to quests, for example. Man, we've got actually quite a lot of side quests. The level 9 to 11. Alright, well, apparently low life Dick Charlson is actually not such a low life. He's like a medium level life. And then finding that 7 to 9... Grandson of Wishes. Vice is mighty grateful. Oh, we just need to go to Vice's store, which we'll do whilst we're here. And then looking out for the Watchers and also taking out the guards. We can maybe do this today, depending on if we level up. But I'll definitely go and visit Vice, wherever he is. I can just follow the map up top. I might quickly go to the shop and the store and see what they've got for me. If you're looking for deals, take cover. There's probably stuff I can sell, maybe. I don't know if we've got... I don't think we've got any additional guns or anything that I would want to sell. Wow, 20 plastic for some glass. Well, okay. What have you got in terms of weapons? Assault, sniper, tactical, sniper. Is that a level 2? That's a level 2 sniper, right. I'm not sure if there's a case where you can actually level them up. It did sound like you could, from what that guy was saying before, where you could utilize some sort of upgrade mechanic. Because that would be helpful instead of just spending all of our plastic. Not just some of it, all of it, on a new gun. So look at the energy gain. Grants 5 kilowatts of energy per hit. I mean, that would actually be really good for uh, Elvis. Let's see what this is. 5 rage per hit, magazine size, weapon crit damage, weapon damage by 10. Like, just automatically granting gain kilowatts since they're having to use consumables would be pretty dope. 450 is quite a bit, though. Let me check the rest of the, our weapons, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to buy it. This is, this is going to be the part where I buy it. And then we, we just find one out there in the middle of nowhere. This, it might be one of those games where it's like, is there actually much point to buying stuff when it's just going to appear somewhere, you know, like pretty shortly? quite like how the guns do change in terms of how they look from all the customization points. Little things like that in games, I do. I am a big fan of. Right, well, that's there. At least you automatically now gain kilowatts from just firing your gun. I assume that happens whether you miss or don't miss. Here's hoping. I also changed the crit chance thing and added it to a... A different gun of digs instead of the uh, bouncer because the bouncer is cool but we don't use it as much as just a regular assault rifle where are we going in terms of this monsters? i'm not a fighter I i'm gonna head to like the blue parts first before we go and talk to the mayor once Elvis, again stop agitating these frog monsters hey, they agitated me first shouldn't have been frogs should they or monsters that glove of yours can it stop these monsters mm, not unless electrocuting them 
Counts. Okay, now apparently everyone has seen the frogs now. Hi, boys. Welcome to my shop, filled with treasures from the darkest corners of America. I'm looking for more chips for my glove. You got any? You got a taste of what Vaz can provide, and now you're hooked. <laughs> I understand. That first chip, my daughter found it in a skyscraper close to the wall. She said there's more in there, in a locked vault, untouched since the original days. But she can't go back, cause, well, as dangerous as all hell. She can tell you the rest. Her name's Faye. Find her at that skyscraper. Can't. Ah, the skycrapper. <laughs> the skycrapper. That's a slight, uh, text missile. It's good. Grandson of Wishes. According to her father, Vice, Faye knows how to get into a skyscraper close to the Miasma Wall. Inside, there's Miasma chips locked away since the days of the originals. Okay, but we've unlocked the black market. So I can now just talk to Vice, so do I have to walk over here? You can't resist. Mystery market. That's why you come here again and again. Ignores the AP cost of catch it casting. Cost reducing unit for manipulative glove. Unit grants additional movement. So I assume it means it ignores... Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. Then we've got Burn, we've got Desizer. Shrink the target for three turns, reducing their damage output by 50%. Electromag stuns robotic enemies, that's actually quite decent. Steals plastic, reduces the cost of casting by 10 kilowatts. I mean, that'd be just pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure what the little bag thing says there. Roid, adds 20 rage, extends casting range. That wouldn't be bad either. And then Vamp, we've already got Vamp. Oh, you've also got power cores. Adds one armor point to your total. Medipods heal 50% extra. That wouldn't be bad. And increases throwing range by three tiles. Ah, cool. So we haven't got many. We've got the Jacker and we've got the Vamp. We've also got Burn. I don't really see myself using Vamp. But I might buy... Oh, AP cost would be handy. You know what? I'm, I'm going to take the Inverter just to bring down the kilowatts. So then that way, every time... Elvis fires, he gains kilowatts, but we're reducing the overall cost of how much it takes to actually use the glove in combat, so we can use it more often. Okay, so the, so the bag just means he had two of them. That makes sense. If I now go into here, go to Elvis, go to his miasma powers, you see we've got the red and the blue, we have the miasma chip slots, we've got a offense and defense effectively, like offense and support. Let me just add the inverter in there. And now it's only 60 instead of 70, and we gain 5 for every time we shoot with that gun. So, we should be able to use it more often than not. And also, we shouldn't have to use collectibles, uh, sorry, consumables as much to actually, what's this? Uh, utilize it. Archaeology Eden. Oh, that's what it's actually called. Ah, oh, 6 to 8, that's not far. Eden? Where's Eden? It's not a garden in this world, I'll tell you that much. Right, let me go to this other side bit here, because I'm not sure what that relates to. And then we'll go talk to Mason. Times of crisis. Right? Who this? I recommend getting. You all right? I'm the opposite of all right, son. Twenty-six years bringing supplies to sedentary, never been bushwhacked by mutant frogs before. What is this country coming to? Oh, killing frogs is our bread and butter. Oh yeah, a regular posse, huh? Tell I mean, me yeah, actually, yes, pretty much. Uh, I'm Diggs. This is Jade and Elvis. Diggs, Jade, and Elvis. I'm Zed from Fort Thomas. I submit to you a proposition. You go you to the and shoot the bastards that stole my wagon. Do that. And I'll reward you nice. Real nice. Believe me. Believe it. Bushwhacked? What level is that? Suddenly we're getting uh, side quests out the Wat Zoo. Go on. Where is it? Seven to nine again. So really, I feel like we need to get to level seven more than anything, and then we can actually start doing a lot more of these side quests. So let's go... I imagine handing in this, like, primo main quest is going to give us a serious XP boost. Probably not to the point that we'd want. What's it called? Is it just called Elvis' shop? Basically. Okay. Well, Elvis' repair shop. How inventive. Ha! Huh, get it? Because he's a... Well, he's not an inventor, he's an engineer, but you, you get you get, you get what I mean. You get what I mean. Right, let's go talk to the head of Major. Let's go talk to Nixon. You're alive, hot damn. I'm watching your robot friend. Got eyes in the back of my head for this. Barely. First family day to drive, as requested. Hoo-wee! Thank you kindly. See what happens when you trust me? 
This drive's gonna tell us where the vortexes are? I bet 50 plastic on it. But I'll need some time to decode the drive. Of course you will. In the meantime, I want you and Gators on. Helping the town militia fend off the frogs. Time's running out, Mayor. I'm finding these vortexes myself. Oh, time ran out. We're done. Listen to this live feed. Screams. Those are miners with half the fight you got laying down their lives to defend their town right now. They need help. If you don't project power, Elvis, someone's gonna take it from you. Where's my proxy cable? Okay, we'll go to Gator Zone in hell. Buy you some time. Let's go. Oh, Elvis, one more thing. Yeah. I'm proud of you, boy. Always will be. Thanks. M dad in a jar. We need to buy the mayor some time to decode the data drive. Let's go to Gator Zone and help the militia fend off the grabber invasion. It's war then. All right. It, it, it's kind of weird. It's interesting how it's gone from nobody knew about these weird frog mutants to they are frigging everywhere and now they are coming to take over the town. Oh, we are so close to level seven. Look at that. We are 120 XP off level seven. Next fight, and we're we're in, as it were. I don't think. Oh, what was that? Ooh, family tech. Where was that? Now that's what I call a collection day. Got us a taste of some real food this time. But you want to know what really flipped my lid? Those pieces of family tech the collectors dropped on us. I don't know where it comes from. But it is light years ahead of what we could cobble together. Best not to think about it. Also, every time it's a collector's, I think of the collectors from Mass Effect 2, so I'm thinking of something <laughs> very and wildly differently to you. God, there's so much stuff in here. Oh. Okay, there's a whole ten plastic in here. That's not a whole lot of stuff, actually, now that I think about it. I'm gonna quickly go talk to this guy, because he was talking about weapon upgrades. I don't know if there's more to discuss with him on that, because I feel like he probably... Because in, for example, I know I'm referencing Mutant Year Zero quite a lot, but it's the best reference point, really, where you could actually just upgrade your guns. So I don't know if you can do it here. Hell, I rejiggered and hot-wired my rifle. No, that's just the same conversation. I'm assuming it's something that we are on a lockdown road. Similar to how I couldn't use the bag before I was doing something wrong, then literally five seconds later, I was like, oh, I can use the bag. Look at that robot with Elvis. That's just mean. That's just not on. Diggs has a soul, you know. A re really oil this beaten heart. I guess we're going to get his own. Anybody want to give me some grenades? I know that everyone was handing out grenades like they were candy earlier. Does anyone want to keep doing that? No? All right. Guess we're just going with uh, the fire in our souls. Set your hearts ablaze. Let's go. Well, this looks about the same as it did when... Uh, they're all gonna be dead. Trust the mayor. We need to ditch this war and find the vortexes. I'm here to find Bamati. I know, but if we go out there and find her, we'd just be coming back to a graveyard. This is our home. We gotta protect it. Oh snap! Hero alert! You smell a hero up in here, girl? Diggs is the bona fide hype man or hype robot, I guess. Well, this still looks like a scrap heap, so the frogs haven't taken over yet. I'm going to assume the militia are all going to be dead, though. Were these corpses always here? I'm pretty sure they were. Everything looks fine to me, guys. Nothing out of the ordinary. I'm just going to run through this quickly. Oh, that's on fire. What about your best friend? Wasn't, like, his best friend around here somewhere? Is she gone? She's gone. Understandably. Oh. Oh. Oh, they set the Velociraptor on fire. Rude. Hmm. I assume that's the militia who didn't do a very good job. Oh, shit. Get down. Okay, so there's a scout there. There's a skull crusher there, which, to be fair, Jade should be able to snipe by herself, I think. Because it's 70 health, right? There's three frogs there. Oh, there's one there. What, what's your health, bro? Oh, you're just a you're just a lowly skull crusher. Wow, you're about to get your just desserts, broski. 
100. 100. Bye, frogman. See you never. All right, one down. Oh, this is technically the right way. I do want to kill more of these frogs. One, because they messed with us and they messed with the dinosaurs. And also, XP. I want to get to level 7. How close do I have to be just to blast him? Surely he's in range, right? Sure he's in the way, isn't it? What about now? 80? I'm not risking an 80, sorry. I will risk a 100, though, because, you know, there's no risk there. Cuckoo ka -choo. See you later. Oh, 19 XP off. Are you having a laugh, mate? Guys. All right, come on. And plus, once we level up, we should all go to full health. So there's a witch doctor over there. Ting Tang, Wall Wall, Bing Bang. There's a scout there, and I see a spawn lord. The hell is a spawn lord? These particularly vile grabbers have dead egg sacs permanently attached to them. Grim. Using pheromones, they can trigger long dormant eggs into hatching at a moment's notice. You could spawn. Oh. I mean, yeah, that tracks. And there's a skull crusher there. Well then. What I'll do is be very careful. Oh God! Stay here. One thing that almost caught me. Ninety-two. Is there an? Is there a hundred somewhere? I just want to make sure I kill these guys without being seen. This one's where rumbled. Where rumbled. Also, welcome to level seven. Nice one. To me. Right, come on then. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, that will be useful. Right, let's get everyone leveled up then. I don't know if I'm gonna... What I'm gonna bother with in terms of actual levels. You've only got... You've got... Th one. Which isn't really gonna do much for me. You've got two. So I could give you add one armors and heroes base tool. I have been thinking about this, but I'm probably not gonna do it this time around. Uh, what's this? A road of shot stacking 20% critical chance for consecutive shots upon the same target. Automatically punch a melee attacker. That's amazing. I want this. What's that? Ar I think armor, though, would be quite good. He does get shot a lot. A lot. Tell you what, I'm going to go for the armor this time, and then I think I'm going to go for counter punch because we do get a lot of melee attackers coming in. But so once again, we can refund skills and mess around with it anyway. So it's, it's not like we're permanently locked in. And we've got two, so we can go agility boost. But I don't think agility boost isn't really going to do me many favors, to be quite honest. One extra movement don't matter too much. I think I'll just keep my uh, skill points. Cool. Right, then. Well, at least we're now fully chocker. I think I might... I know I said that I was going to use combat to actually make it so his kilowatts come back. But he currently has 30 out of 100, so it's going to take quite a while to get there. So let me use one of these energies. We've got three. Great stuff. Just to give us a bit of a chance. Now, I should probably think about taking out the Spawn Lord first, because he's going to bring more enemies into the fight. So if we focus fire on the Spawn Lord, then we absolutely delete all the creepy frog fetuses that are going to spawn out of him. And then there's another, what, three people over? I say three people. Three frogs over there. So we focus on the Spawn Lord, and then we kill the scout. Right. Well, we could utilize upstairs, definitely. Because elevation gives bonuses to basically everyone, as far as I'm aware. So if we all just creep up here, and then we'll get into position. Okay, I think this, this will probably do. I am just going to exit the ambush for a second, though. I'm going to wait for the scout to move, because there is an explosive barrel there. I could maybe use a knocker, if I've got it. Or maybe I use a glass. Can I make a... Ooh... Ha ha ha. That could work. Let me see where this scout goes to. So if the scout gets closer there, I can glass bottle, throw the glass bottle, and make the spawn lord go over to the explosive barrel. Set off the explosive barrel to start with. I might actually be able to ping the bouncer off the explosive, which will set off the explosive and hit the enemy with, like, the ripper blades. Let's see how far he goes. Is that within the range of the explosion? Oh, it, you know what? It isn't. Give me a sec, then. 
let me throw a glass bottle here. Oh, what was that noise? Okay, good start. Now I could, technically, the knocker's gonna knock him away. That's the issue there. So, with the tactical disc, with the tactical disc, if I was to fire it, fire it. Okay, well, for one thing, you, you seem incapable of firing it around a corner. And it's doing something really weird. What is this? What? What? What is that? Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to like elevation very much. Okay, well, good to know. That would basically kill the spawn lords. Yeah. Also, he's on fire, so he's gonna die. Right? He's dead. Minus twenty fire. He's got twenty health left. He's a dead man. Oh, he's a dead frog. I'll handle this. No. Take it, you're not getting back no, up. Dad. Did you just say no dad? Or no dead. Now, have these guys been alerted? They look like they're ready to, to throw hands. Annoyingly, where Elvis is, it doesn't quite work. Unless I could maybe stand here instead. I don't think it's gonna In terms of like the elevations overwatch, it's a bit. Yeah, there's nothing really there, so maybe we just we maybe we do come back here. That was kind of a wasted move for him. Spawn from that asshole. You guys are gonna do a full movement, fine. Nowhere to hide. This would be a perfect time to have a grenade, but unfortunately I don't have one. But what I could do is. Is it only going to be a corrosive shot, which would go... Can I hit more than one of them? I can't. That's a damn shame. 71, 61. Hmm. What have you got? You've got 45. You've got... You could sprint and shoot, although I don't think you're going to be getting down there, unfortunately. I don't think you can get down there. Oh, you can, but it's not going to give you a very good shot. Like, at all. Jade, what have you got? You've got nothing, really. That's surprising. 45, 85. I'll take 85. Hang on. Not dead, though. Now, I could just overwatch, although it's evidently not going to do much this way. It's only going to be here. So I could overwatch a single scout, which is fine. But it's nothing too crazy. So you know what? Let's. I'm assuming I, I, that I hit the tree. The tree is in the way. <laughs> 45 is not ideal, but with the disc, right? What can I do? Can I actually use this a bit better up here? I might send Diggs downstairs now, because the disc is not really vibing with the whole being upstairs part. So you know what? I will do that. Let me. Bash his gun, Diggs. So now if I fire it... Okay, it's bouncing a bit better, but it's still not really going anywhere I want it to to hit them. Which is fine, but it's, it's evidently that upstairs, it doesn't play well with being upstairs and then going downwards. Although it was, although it was probably like a really weird angle as well, so fair enough, I guess. Uh, don't need to worry about any of that right now. You know what? I'm just gonna reload. Ah, loading. Yeah, that's full cover for you. Far shock. Nice one. Nice one. Stupid, stupid. Right, let's see if we can now flank from a petty per. I could probably just gonna like whack one of them, just like give one a good old smack. Out of range. Why are you always slightly out of range, bro? Come on. Not bad, not bad. Take that, frog man. I don't think you're gonna. Mm, well. Ooh, 43. Don't ever wanna risk a 43. Now, are you two finally in range of each other or getting electrochambered? You're not, which is really strange. 
What if I... Elvis, can I not just jump out the window now? So it would be a case of moving all the way down and around. Ish. Okay. And then your watch doesn't quite work here. Well, let's see. Let's see if that works. Because it is kind of in the right range. I guess. Are you already gone? You got a better shot like here somewhere, maybe? Don't think so. Am I going to risk it? Screw it. <laughs> That's not good. Sometimes you got to risk it. Right, let's see what they do. Don't stop now. Let's go. Unfortunate miss. Big old whiff, although I don't really know what the chance was. Wanky angles. Wanky angles. For both for both sides. For both sides. Okay. Diggs, can you just go tackle one of them, please? Which one's gonna be best to take out? Take out the healer. Bonk. Reload, please. And that's We're how it's done. done. That's how you take care of healers. Out of right, Elvis. 22 sucks. And I'm not wasting an electro chain on one frogman. So let's get down here then. Elevation's not really doing us any favors anymore because it's putting us at a weird angle. So let's get down. Generally speaking, this using this building was handy. He's probably going to shoot at Diggs. Just because he's out of there. Uh... Yeah, I expected that to happen. Not to worry. 35, 23, 27. If there's a better shot there. Interesting. Diggs, you could sprint and shoot. Get behind Falk over there. I don't think there are any more frogs in the area. Or grabbers. I should start calling them grabbers. Frogs. Frogmen. Good flank. I don't think you're shooting there. And getting down, once again, you can't just jump out of a window. So I am going to have to dash. At least we killed the spawn lord. He was my... Could have been a really big gripe there, but fortunately not. He's probably going to get another shot at Diggs. He's probably going to re... He's going to move around again. Maybe? Yeah. Oh. But he didn't move around enough to... Uh, okay. Okay. What's the opportunity there? 10%. No, I don't subscribe to 10%. I don't want to get too close to the explosives either, so let's not do him the favor of taking us out like that. On the plus side, the longer this combat's taking, the more everything's cooling down for next combat. Sort of taking that into account as well, because obviously the cooldowns don't end, the cooldowns don't reset at the end of this combat. It's just going to keep going. I don't think I'm shooting you from that distance. 4%, 4%, 4%, 24%. Well, this is just rough. Uh, what do we got? Sniper. I don't think the sniper's going to help me either. 3%. Nah. Not even slightly. What I will do then is... Because I might as well, because it's here. You even think about moving, buddy boy. You're getting shot in the ass, mate. Hey, idiot! Look at me when I'm shooting at you! And he's flanked, so I assume he will move. Spinal tap. Rough way to check out. That's how you do it. It's what they deserve. Nice. So we're level seven and we're now a thousand into level seven. Let me just grab everything that they dropped. I assume our militia got absolutely done in. I can only I can only imagine. Let's pick up did they leave more plastic? I mean, I'll take it. Alright, I think I've picked up everything. I see a lot of human corpses scattered about, which weren't here the last time we were here. I also see a few frogman corpses, or grabbers, so I assume there's going to be absolute hell over here. Oh, Gator Tours is on fire. Oh, there is a regular looking person over there? Oh, plastic. Getting ready for something big. Hope it's not too late. Are we about to do like a big defense mission? 
Oh no, the militia are actually alive and relatively well. I expected them to be like all dead by the time we got here, but fair play to them. They're actually kicking. Hello. Wait. We didn't come down here last time, did we? This is a completely different area. I was like, this doesn't actually look familiar. Okay, it's like they've built the bridges over here. Is there anything else I can pick up in the interim whilst I'm here, then? You want to push through that? So I'm going to let more frogmen in. It's fine. Frogmen. Okay, was that just like a, a more of a shortcut? Okay. So that's going up there. What's that? Oh, that's what you call a bayou blaster. Twin propellers, flat bottom, thing could zing. Is that a boat? Is that a boat with a... It's almost like a jet engine attached to it. There's plastic. All right, well, if people are making boats like that, fair enough. I don't know if I would go on it, go on it though. Grab that quickly. I'm only grabbing all this now just in case because I don't know what's about to happen. I assume the frogs are going to jump us. Ooh, energy cell. How much do you have left in the tank? 30. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to test this whole ability of attacking and slowly letting it go up. I got 6 foot frogs in front of me and 20 foot gators behind me. Why did I come out here? Cuz this is exactly where we live, buddy. Got to protect it from the frogman. Anything in there? I hope I'm not just breaking down all the barriers they put up and they're just like, "What are you what are you doing?" Okay, never mind. Let's quickly switch to Elvis, and let's go talk to Joseph Maxime Conway. Mr. Conway. You're not dating my daughter anymore, Elvis. Call me Joseph. Oh. We're here to help. <laughs> okay. Just tell us what to do. <laughs> I was hoping you could tell us what to do. I'm not a... I mean, the mayor sent us. Said you needed help fighting the frogs. This ain't fighting. They're just hunting our stupid asses. Picking us off one by one. We can't even bury our dead. Frogs steal the bodies. But just when our scout says she found out how to win this war, she disappears. Interesting. I'm sorry. We're good at killing these things. If that, uh, keeps you going. Only thing keeps us going is the legend of a hero. A warrior who moves the miasma. Yeah, I've been trying to get to her. I just can't. The legend's about you, dummy. We heard all about your adventures out there. No, I, I'm not the... What the hell are we gonna do, hero? Lead us. Uh, you, um... You said your scout knew how to win the war. We'll find her. Bring her back. Thank you. When we lost contact, she was at the Spendthrift Ruins. They're at the end of the old town road. You'll need this key. Ah, the key. Go quickly. What does she look like? You already know. The scout is my daughter, Baxter. Bring it back to me, Elvis. And a very Keith David feel to him. Okay, let's go. So it's through that gate that we saw in the last few episodes. Cool. I guess we can head there. Also, Spendthrift? Oh, is it like Baxter. an old old Damn, mall? Elvis. See, you go way back. Way back. If we just got here earlier. You're here now. Time to rescue your princess. Yeah. Let's hurry. Right. Are there any more frogs, though? Yeah, because this was where we fought Gorge and his frogmen last time we came to Gator Zone. And that was a new area because they built like a bridge over. And now we can go through this area instead, I think. Now we can just open up here. We're in. Let's find your friend, Baxter. God, these, these ships be popping off. Right. On to the next zone, I guess. Let's see what it brings. Old Town Road. Okay. Well. Ooh. Thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Should take us to Baxter. You were close to her? Who the hell cares? All right. Who the hell? She shouldn't be out here alone. Okay? Watch your anger, Elvis. We'll find her. Yeah, man. Chill. What's that noise? Okay, so it's like a tannoy system. 
Oh man, it's really dark as well. Like I, I can't see shit. Oh wait, I can see some shit. What's that? Ah, the restroom card. Perfect. Return to driver after use. Well, that failed. Well, I can now go for a piss. That's good. Right? Great. I can't see any entrances or exits here. So I guess I'm going to go around. I don't see any grabbers. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, shut my mouth for a second. I don't believe it. That's not a frog. Miasma. Turning nature into nightmares for more than a century. You've seen these things before? Called whisperers. Watch out for the small ones. They'll hold you down so the big one can bash you. So the trees are now alive. So frogmen and treemen. Ents. They're called Ents. Melba's testimony. Did we even get the first part of Melba's testimony? I don't think we did. I think I might wait until I find the first part and then I will just put them on at the same time. But great, so we've got other cre I did say that I wonder if the Miasma has mutated anything else, not just frogs. Uh, I was expecting creatures, not trees. But I guess trees are creatures in some right, you know? We can have a long conversation about that one, that's for sure. Right, let me go around and see what's cracking, because it does seem to be quite a lot of them. There's a sapling there, which I assume Jade might be able to snipe and uh, take care of permanently when the big one isn't looking. Let me switch to let me switch to Jade. Checking it out myself. So let's have a quick look at this. Whisperer. Huge walking tree-like creatures with thick bark skin and immense strength. They can uproot dormant saplings from the soil to join them to battle. So they can spawn saplings. Okay. Alright. Not sure how I feel about that. So we've got Grabber's Fevers, Whisperers. The first family, the Watchers, and the sedentary militia, who... Our, our friends! Oh, there's a... Oh, Gator! There's a Gator! Would you want to come help me? Don't mutate. Right, so if I wait for the Whisperer to bugger off, which I assume it will, because it was moving a second ago. There you go. And I should be able to snipe that thing. No, no, no. 89? Let's just make it a hundred, shall we? Nice. That's gonna be useful in the next combat. And there was something to pick up, I think I saw. Just plastic? Fantastic. Well, throwing us a new curveball of enemies, that's for sure. There is also something over here, I over think. Here. Looks like family tech, right? Bingo. That's an old model. Relic from the war. Mama used to talk about that war. Can I work my way around into like here? Oh god, there's even more of them in here. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of ones that we could... They move quite fast. Oh my god. That was speedy. So he's got 220 and 4 armor. Hmm, I'm seeing corrosion working a lot in this regard. Right, hold up. You two come over here for a sec. Need to see this for myself. What's that? Pick up what? Oh, that's the restroom. Right, well, I need to get around there. Is that thing going to move in a second? Oh, I wasn't even hiding in the right place, but at least it uh, didn't screw me on it. Where's the big tree? Hide. Ooh, I thought he was going to see me. I really did. Right. So I could take that one out basically whenever, I think. I don't know, but it can kind of see me. The issue with that one, though, is that I'm going to have to wait for the big sapling to leave and then him to come back, which he's about to. And then I can pop out, snipe that snapling, sapling, and then snipe that sapling. We look like the um, thing some Stranger Things a little bit. Wait for it to go. 
now, if I can snipe it, that would be great. Where's the hundo? I want to make sure I get a hundo. I will take the hundo. Thank you. Just want to make sure I'm cleaning out the map as much as I can before I start popping off fully. Can I even shoot that one? No. Yes. Yes, it won't see me. Just. No, don't blow the barrel. Man, Jade is like OP. I mean, I suppose anyone with the silent sniper rifle would be the OP one, I guess. But just the fact that I'm able to do that is great. Let me just crack open the restroom. Hey, right here. You two come over here. We've got glass bottle. I want this. The Exo Hardener Alpha. Adds one armor point to your total. This core continuously generates a thin gravity armor layer around its user, essentially slowing down projectiles enough to reduce the damage taken considerably. There are no real side effects, but the core must be disabled when using the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. That's that's fair. I would not that that sounds messy otherwise. Well in that case, if I go into my inventory and go to the party quickly. Now you've got one armor already. You've got adds one tile when moving, two when sprinting. I could just give you more armor, so then you've got two armor and be at the forefront. Or I could give Jade more armor at the same time. I could also just give Elvis more, and then also give Jade the extra movement instead. But she does have an ability for that, so I'm not sure. I might just double down the armor into Diggs and just have him as my, like, forefront person. And maybe do a bit of a change in stuff. I think I might swap... If I unequip that, I'm going to give Diggs the shotgun because he's going to have the armor. So he can go in there and blast, like absolutely blast them. I think that sounds like a good idea. Right, I'll grab that. That's open there. There's something over there. I assume it might be a watcher. Maybe. Or it might be something that's going to make me explode. Not sure. No, I can't. I can't quite tell. But I think I'm going to hold it there for this episode because now we've got into a territory where there's a completely new enemy set. And we've killed a few saplings, but the big tree men are going to be a bit of a pain in the arse, I can't imagine. But we'll find out how dangerous they are next time. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more than you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe. See you next time we're going out with Elvis, Jade, and digs in miasma chronicles and the wankers in battle brothers and some live streams down the road as well if you can't wait then feel free to join the discord it is linked in the description and on the channel itself and if you'd like to support me even further feel free to buy us a cuppa on coffee as it does give me the editing oh it does give me the caffeine to get through my editing process it doesn't give me the editing far from it ciao for now guys and girls until next time